Hello. This is in response to a question that was asked on the on the channel regarding this box. So I do that. There you go. So this is the Roland D110. This is the rack mount version of the Roland D10. It's not the rack mount of the D20 because the D20 had a sequencer in it. So this is actually the D10, the the, the middle model, if you like, of this. Um, and these, um, I've said it's a bit dusty because it's just come out of the rack, um, but these were brilliant little devices and I, I've used these for years in my studio, in my racks. Anyway, but before we get going on that, parish notices. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, why not? Hit the subscribe icon. If you want to be notified when I do videos about things like this, which is upside down now, there you go. It's the bell icon. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comments down below. I read them, I respond to them, and sometimes I make videos about them, like this one. Um, and for the less than the price of a cup of coffee, support the channel, support the production of videos. The link is down there, as are the Instagram and Facebook feeds where the normal notices are published. Now back to this video. Just caught my finger on the clapperboard. Dozy sod. Anyway. Um, just before I get going on the demos to answer the particular question, one of the things I want to just pull out about this thing is that in the early days, Roland produced a number of cards for their synthesizers, for the U-series synthesizers, the D-series synthesizers, and several D-series synthesizers. And these cards, um, for want of a better word, come... They look like little credit cards, um, very similar actually to what we used to have in computer in the computer days, which used to run the Ethernet cards and wireless cards and stuff like that. You used to plug them into uh, what was called a PCM PCIMA slot. I think that's what it was. It's a long time since I've had one of those. Um, and these are effectively these cases that lots of people ask me about when they see me with these things are actually PC. I am a card cases. Um, and unfortunately, I've only found a couple of people who do these. And um, people ask me where I get them from. And to be honest, I get them from a guy in California. So, um, but I haven't got, I can't find his, his, his um, details at the moment, but I will try and post them below this video. Anyway, the reason why I've got two of these cards out is because the problem you have with these cards is that for the U series, now the U um, for the U series, Roland produced these. Right, these are the the U cards, um, and this happens to be U uh, SN U one one zero zero seven. Okay, and you know it's a, a card for the U series because it says U one one zero. Right, and all the cards for the U series were U one one zero. They also did cards for the D-series synthesizers, okay? And you know that it's a D-series synthesizer card. There you are, there's a D-series synthesizer card. Because it says PND10-03. Now, why this, this is how it is, I don't know. But Roland made 15 of those, okay, for the U-series. So there are 15 cards with hard copy sounds on them. Okay, these are ROM cards, so they won't be deleted. Roland also made cards for the D-series, but it only made three of them. Don't know why, but it only made three of them, um, over and above the memory card, or the memory cards, should I say. Now, you can't use a U-series card in a D-series synthesizer, and you can't use a D-series card in a U-series synthesizer. Got that? But you can use a U-series card in the D70, just to confuse things, and you can use neither of these in the D50. Why? I couldn't tell you, but that is how it is. So when you, if you buy one of these things, 
Okay, you can buy some cards from Roland. There were a number of companies that made aftermarket cards as well uh, for the D-Series. There was um, Ritter, there were some cards from Ritter, which is a, a Japanese company. Uh, and there were some cards from another company. I can't think what the company name is, but I have the card over here. So I took them all out of the box. So there's, a, there's the Ritter, one of the Ritter cards. There you go, uh, David Garfield. Uh, and there was another one there. That one was from PA Decoder. So there are a number of companies that produce cards for the D-Series synthesizer, but only three official Roland cards made for this, and you can't use the U cards. In addition to these cards, there was also cards on the D70 that you couldn't use on any of the other keyboards, and cards on the D50 that you couldn't use on any other keyboard at all. Such is life. Anyway, back to this particular unit. Now the question was, how do you get to the demo feature? So I'm gonna go through that and then we'll call it quits. But I need to just prop this up so it looks at the camera better. So let's stop the camera, move things around, and then I'll show you. So hopefully this is um, all in focus. And I haven't hooked up the, the the unit directly to the camera, so this is gonna the sound that's gonna come out of the unit is gonna come out of the speakers. But first things we need to do is switch on the unit, like so. As you can see, it's come up. The screen is not particularly bright, but then again, this is 30 years old. Uh, maybe 40 years old, actually. Um, uh, I'm gonna turn, I'm not gonna turn the volume up just yet, but to get into, into uh, ROM play mode, what you have to do is press the enter key and then press the edit key. And if you can see that, it says in the screen, chain of songs. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn up the volume, about halfway, and you hit enter. And you press exit to stop it. I'm not going to play the whole thing through because there's a video on the channel that plays the whole thing through but somebody asked me how do you get into that mode? That's how you do it. You press the enter key and then the edit key gets you into mode that stops it and if you want to come back out of this mode you press the exit key again. So that's enter edit, enter to start, Exit to stop, exit to edit, exit to exit, edit to exit, exit to exit. And hopefully that has answered your question.